Hello everyone, we're here with this Miller Synchrowave 250DX to give you an update on the pulser and sequencer. Um, I am at version 1.4, I just assembled and installed version 1.4 into my machine tonight. I will show you the inside in a minute. But let's do a little review on some of the revisions real quick here. This was revision 1.1a. It is a toggle switch version. This version worked just fine. Um, couldn't find a toggle switch with a bushing that was about half the size. Would have been perfect. Having all this hanging out the front of the machine just looked unsightly. Um, I did set it up to where you could use a potentiometer with a push button, but I am already into this way too much money. To invest in any more potentiometers to find any that work properly so I just uh, said we're gonna do it a different way and we went with the version 1.1 short this uses a panel mount momentary push button with an LED and uh, just plugs in. Yeah, I also set it up to use a push button potentiometer also, but then you'd have to use a panel mount LED. So I didn't put too much thought to that. That was just real quick. Um, let's show you the sequencer here. Here's the sequencer board. So these will only work with the modern 250DXs. They're not going to work with the older ones. Um, I've tried to get my hands on a older 250DX to take some measurements. Um, couldn't make that happen. I was contacted by a few people um, we just couldn't get the measurements right. They couldn't get the printing of the documents right. And was wasting a bunch of my time. Um, so I said, I'm not doing the older 250DXs at this time. I might revisit it later. So here is version 1.4. This is what I assembled today and installed into the machine. There's a few issues with it that are not going to affect the way it works. It's just mainly cosmetics. I forgot to plate my hole. And I need to be able to make an easy way to disable that LED. You'll see here in a minute when I power it up for you. So let's power this thing up. Make sure I'm in focus this time. So we will power on the pulser. So if you have an LED on the button, you really don't need that LED. Some people might not want an LED on the button and just might want to use that. So um, turn the initial time on, LED comes up, final slope, LED comes on, turn the spot time on, both those two LEDs go off. Spot time on, those two go off. And these will still work with that off. There you go. So I'll show you the inside because people say we want to see the inside. So I'm going to show you the inside. Okay, we're on the inside of this machine. Here is version 1.4 of the Pulsar. Oh, and I want to give a shout out to my initial beta testers. Thank you all very much for your help. And I do have some of these boards available. The 1.4s will not be available till probably March. So if you want to wait till March, you can wait till March. 
if you want to grab one of the other beta boards, those are available. I'll turn these off so you can see. Okay, go back to the front of the machine. Okay, so that's the status of the project. Um, like I said, it's coming to a conclusion here. I think I'm going to order some more boards um, with my other revisions that I plan on doing. Um, once I get those ordered and assembled one and installed, I'll make the version 1.4s available. Um, if you like this content, like subscribe link to my blog post is in the description um we'll catch y'all later